Farm Manager Series Reference Checks. A great way to confirm your impressions about your job applicants is to talk to their past employers. Past work performance is the best predictor of future work performance. I'm Pat McCabe and I'll be taking you through this series. Why take the time to do reference checks? You can verify some of the information that you've received from your applicant. Did they do what they say they did for a prior employer? You can learn about prior demonstrated work habits. Again, they are the best predictor of a person's future work behavior. You can find out what this person's strengths are to assess if you can assign specific tasks that will play to their strengths. You may discover any issues that you can be aware of when the person's working for you, if the prior manager will tell you anything constructive. There are, of course, limitations to references. Job applicants will generally provide names only of references who they know will be positive about them. It's rare to get any candid feedback that's not good. Most employers are aware that they shouldn't make any negative comments about past employees. It's hard to get busy people on the phone, especially when you're busy yourself. But please note that if you only check references by email, you miss out hearing the tone of voice. If the reference comes from a larger corporation, it's possible you'll get redirected to the HR department, but you can always try to talk to the person's direct supervisor. Even in cases where the information provided is just a confirmation of dates of employment and past position title, you can still use the information to assess the applicant's accuracy, attention to detail, and truthfulness. These may or may not be qualities that you want to see in your employees. Some good questions to ask a former supervisor. Ask about the person's duties for that former employer. Give a quick description of the work that the applicant would be doing for you. Open-ended questions solicit more information back from the person, such as, how do you think this person would do this job? Find out what they're best at. What would you say are this person's strengths? What did they do best for you when they worked for you? Find out what your applicant needs to work on. Is there anything that concerns you that I should know about their past work for you? A great question I like to ask is, would you hire them again if you could? And is there anything I haven't asked you that I should be asking so that I can know about this person? If a reference still won't answer questions like, what concerns do you have about this past employee? That's good information for you. Many employers have a practice of not saying anything negative about a former employee. If they hesitate before declining to answer, this might mean that there's something they think they shouldn't say. If you don't hear an enthusiastic yes to the question, would you hire them again? That's a sign of past problems. Think beyond what you actually hear from the references. Sometimes a past job was a poor fit and people can do better work in a different work setting. Different jobs can draw upon different skills and motivations for an employee. If your interview was great and the references, however, were lukewarm, consider hiring the person on a week-long trial basis to directly assess the person's work yourself. Good luck! And that ends the lesson.